All right, so good morning once again. Okay, good morning from KZ, and it's actually good afternoon. All right, good afternoon in from your place. I want you to always have your, okay, what is this? Notebook, right? Because when we are learning, you should have your notebook and your pen. Okay, it's very necessary, right? Okay, so today's for today, our... What's the date today? What's the date today, Raf? It's 6th it's of... 6th August, 2020. Okay, 6th of August. Okay, Theo. All right, so the first one who will report today is Raphael. Hi, Raf. Okay, so Raphael will talk about Batanes. Yeah. Okay, so we are listening, Raf. Okay, continue. Oh, okay. Yeah, I present Batanes. Batanes, right. capital, the capital is Basco. Mm -hmm. The population 17,246. Mm -hmm. The area 84 square miles. And the location of the Kagan uh, Valley like, region. Yeah. All right, okay. Oh, can you please speak louder, Raf? Your voice is. Small. Yeah, Kagan Valley region 2. Okay. Oh no, it's actually in your we call this one audio. Okay. You maximize it. It should be in max. It's already it's already max. Uh, it's already max? All right. Okay, there you can you hear Raphael well? All right. So okay, wait a second. Okay, we have divided two four six. So area is um eighty four square miles, right? I don't know where is Krishna. Maybe she doesn't have internet connection. And of course, this is in Cagayan Valley, right? Okay. So, Batanes is actually in the northern Philippines, very north, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So, okay, Teo, are, are you done, Te? No. Okay, not yet. He's not yet done. Okay, so while you're waiting, yes. I'll send a message I'm to done. Krishna. Oh, all right okay uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> people batanas are called batanas all right okay wait a second wait a second okay, okay. batanas people okay people of batanas are called ivatans of course we know that okay ivatans yeah and by research it i don't know why they're called ivatans okay very good yeah. okay yeah. Ayo kena kusap kan ni mama. Mm. All right. So Batanes people they are called Ivatans. It's true. I also don't know. Yes. Maybe because of their um regional language, right? Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Okay. Languages. People in Batanas speak Ivatan language. There are 22,000 speakers of the language. All right. Okay. So Ivatan. Okay. And there you are. You don't need to copy uh, the picture below. You just have to copy the words. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to. Yes. Copy the. This, are, this is actually their alphabet. Yeah. Mm, all right. Okay. So it's very similar with us, but they have different sounds, right? They have the ow, eu, i, a, oi, pa. All right, so a little bit different. Okay, good. Okay, I'm done. All right, I'm done. Okay. Yes. All right, okay. continue. Okay, very good. Okay, geography. But as area is e for square miles, the province comprises of 10 islands. Okay, yeah. Batanes is area of 84 square miles. I shall put this in the islands of Batanes. Okay, all comprises of 10 islands. islands? Yeah, all these small islands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all these small islands. All right, okay. So in total, there are like 10 islands that compose Batanes. It's nice. Yeah. It's not really big, right? It's only 84 square miles. It's a small one. Yeah, it's very, it's very small. Yeah, it's I very small. It's the, it's the smallest province. Mm -mm. Well, yeah, I think so. It's one of the smallest province. And it's actually made of island. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, good. Hey, okay, are you done? Yes. All right, we're done. Okay, let's move on. Here, cities and municipalities. What answer is no cities, but it has six municipalities and 29 barangays. Okay, so it has six municipalities, only six. Yeah, it's because it's just, it's just 10 small islands. Yeah, are six municipalities and 29 barangays. Okay, let me copy it, okay? We will copy the municipalities all right so we we have basco okay is is basco the capital uh yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay so it bayat ivana okay like ivana alawi <laughs> mahatao all right Sabang. Mm -hmm. and uyugan okay good job all right, so when it comes to population, Basco is the most populated. Yeah, of course, it's the, it's the provincial capital. Okay, it's the provincial capital, right? Very good. Basco is the provincial capital. Okay, Basco, Itbayat. Okay, second is Itbayat. Don't, don't you have to copy all of these things in the chart? All right, yeah, I mean, no, I'm not copying. Are you copying everything? No. Mm -mm. Okay, so very good. So let's continue. Okay, I'm worried. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Okay. Then the British crew went to the island. Okay, I can I, I cannot actually see it. Okay, this one, Batanis history. All right, it's actually quite lagging. Can you please repeat once again? Can you read once again, Raf? Okay, the Ivatans are descendants of the Austronesian people. Austronesian people. To my visit to the island 4,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then a British crew went to the island and stayed there for less than three months. Mm -hmm. Later on, the Spanish claimed the islands. Mm -hmm. But in the 1890s, the mm -hmm. Ivatans killed the Spanish rule of the island and declared the end of Spanish rule of Batanes. Mm -hmm. But after the War of Independence, yeah, the Philippine American War. Mm -hmm. The Americans took over the islands and made the island better by adding new roads and schools. Mm -hmm. But later on, the Japanese came to the island to see the character of New Basco. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, it was first Ameri it was the first American territory in the Philippines to be claimed by the Japanese. But the islands were liberated by the first and twelfth uh, infantry divisions of the Philippine Commonwealth Forces. Forces in but later in 1906, the rest of the Philippines became independent. Batans uh, came from the word Batan, the local word from the Ibatan people. I don't All right. Okay, it's interesting. I will just write here that the people, the Ivatans are descendants of the Austronesian people. What do you mean again by Austronesian, Raf? Like, uh, I saw, I actually researched it, and it's actually like people from like South. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, uh, people like Southeast Asia and like Ocean. Yeah. Okay, we learned this, right? Okay, Austro means like Australian, Polynesian people. It's uh, within the um, Pacific, right? Pacific region. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So here, uh, so it means that um, unfortunately, the um, the Spaniards they were not able to colonize Batanes. No, they uh they did colonize but uh they did colonize Batanes, but the Batans killed uh the Spanish uh, person who is ruling the island. Yeah. All right, okay, yeah, so mm -mm. they were able to colonize Batanes. All right, they were able, but in the Ibatans killed the Spanish ruler. But, mm -hmm. but, 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 
Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it means that they were very, very strong, right? Very resilient. They don't want that they will be colonized. Do you think yeah. so? Mm, okay, very good. So let's continue. Okay, good job. Do you have a question? Ayo, may katanungan ka ba? No, none. All right, so let's continue. Okay, okay. are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I just saw, uh, all right. Okay, this one. Forest plot, swamp area. Swamp area is near Basco. You can over 3,000 feet to the peak of the mountain. All right, okay, this is interesting. Okay, let me write it. Tourist spots, okay, you know, one of the best place to visit is actually in Batanes. Okay, can you please continue? Mount? Yeah, Mount Uraya. Mm -hmm. It's near Basco. Yeah, you can see Basco, the town, wow. all down, and then you mm -hmm. can see the mountain on top. All right, okay. So the peak is 3,000 feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, peak of the mountain. Okay, thank you. Next one. The Basco Lighthouse. The Basco Lighthouse is in Basco. It looks to Basco Bay. Yeah, it looks over to Basco Bay. The mm -hmm. lush green hills and the sea makes it look beautiful. Yeah. And All right. The Morong Beach. Mm -mm. The beach is in Sabtang Island. Mm -mm. Okay, it's in Sabtang Island, right? Okay, so I think this is a really good place to visit. Like other beaches, the waves are gentle and water. Mm -hmm. Gentle and tourists can? Tourists can take a dip in the water. All right, okay. Tourists can take deep in the water. There is also an arc formation. Okay, good. All right, so Morong Beach. Yeah, it's nice, okay. So do you still have more? Okay, what other tourist spots I, can I visit there? I realized there are so much uh, lighthouse. There are lots of lighthouses that are tourist spots in Batanes. And uh, yeah. Mm -mm. So you just chose the three one? Yeah, I chose the three one. I okay, Deyo, uh, do you have mountain, a question, Deyo? Lighthouse and a beach. Mm, Deyo, do you have any question? No. No, really? All right, okay. So, wow, okay. Do you want to visit uh, Batanes in the future? Mm -hmm. Do you want to visit Batanes, Teo? Yes. Yes, okay. In what about Morong Beach? In Morong Beach. Okay, what about you, Rafael? Where do you like to visit? Mount Iraya. Even though I have acrophobia, I at least I want to hike on a mountain. I hiked on a tall, a very steep hill before and i was so scared mm -mm. okay yeah me too you know i'm scared to actually um what to call this one no i do hiking but i'm actually scared of heights but you know if you try hiking it helps you to face your fear right it's a good thing mm. okay so Deo, do you have any question let's move on all right, continue, Raf. Okay, we are listening. First thing, so on. You can find this for dirt in Batanes. It's sticky rice. Cook. Okay, you can eat this fish in Batanes. This fish is actually popular in Australia. I forgot and I don't have uh, I don't know what I uh, wait I don't know what a league is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like a league. Uh what it uh it tastes like 
It tastes like okay. What is that? Suman. You can mixed find this with one. mixed with fried meat. All right, alige. You don't say alig, alige. These oh, crabs are known by their sweet meat and alige. I yeah, the al yeah, it tastes like uh, it tastes like coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Um, it tastes like coconut milk mixed with crab meat. I I I know I uh, I know why it's called coconut crab. Yeah, that's the reason why, okay? Because you know it is actually a crab, okay, with coconut milk. I'm not really sure how do you say that. I think they they call that alige. Alige. It sounds like Spanish. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Suman, right? Yeah. Well, actually, suman is everywhere in the Philippines. Yeah. Cook mahi mahi. What is mahi mahi? Mahi mahi. It's a fish found worldwide. It is uh, popular in Australia. What is that? Is it like Maya Maya? And the I saw a picture of the fish. I think I saw the fish like white or I don't know. All right, okay. Wait a second. Uh, how do you ah okay? So tabanang talangke alige. How do you say? What does okay? Alig. How do you pronounce? Okay, wait a second, okay? Let me find it. Okay, so I will teach you the correct one. I'm not really sure if you say it alig. Have you tried to find the pronunciation? But it means that it's a crab meat. Yeah. Ah, okay. So in English, we pronounce it as aligi, right? Aligi. Oh, aligi. Okay, so I found it. So we have to say it aligi, right? Mahi mahi. Okay, wait a second. Mahi mahi, I'll find mahi mahi. I think it's the same way with Maya Maya in Philippines. All right, I mean in in Luzon, in my in our place, mahi ah okay. All right, I'm not really sure what is this kind of fish, but I saw it. It's really big. All right, so in Tagalog we call it. All right. Ah, okay. It's different. Mahima is dorado. Dorado. It's a dolphin fish. Mahi mahi is a dolphin fish. Do you want to see? Okay, wait a second. I will try to share my screen to you, okay? And later you, you will... Uh, okay, this one is the mahi mahi. It's really big. Look at that. It's yeah. Okay, this is a mahi mahi, or they call it dolphin fish. Um, the screen is black. I what? See. All right. Okay. Wait a second. It's black. Still... Okay. What about now? Is it okay now? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. It's just la lagging. Oh. oh. Okay, can you see it now? Yes? No. Not yet? All right, okay, wait a sec. Okay, let's, let's be patient because the internet. Okay, what about this? Is it better? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that is Mahi Mahi. Have you ever eaten Mahi Mahi? Do you like to try mahi mahi? I have no. No. No, I want to try. You want to try? Deyo, what about you, Faye? Do you want to try mahi mahi? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. All right. You say, Deyo, yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Yes, I. Deyo, you repeat. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Okay. All right. So it's your turn, Raf. Okay. Please uh, share your screen again. Oh, Wait. Actually, maybe. Uh, actually, I don't need to share screen, and I don't need to uh, share screen more because maybe. All oh, right. Sure. It's already the end. The end. Ah, actually, I there's, see. Uh, I have three presentations that I did, so I actually have two more. 
Ah, okay, you have two more. All right, okay. Okay, we will try to listen. Okay, so you do it today. All right, so we have Batanes. Okay, before we go, okay, Theo, I will ask Theo. I will check Theo's, um, if he's listening, right? Theo, okay, can you tell us what is the capital of Batanes? Basco. Okay, can you speak louder, please? It's? Basco. Basco, okay. So how many municipalities does Batanes have? How many? Um, six. There are six. Can you name those six municipalities, Theo? Um, Basco. Mm -hmm. um, Itbayat. Itbayat. Very good. What else? Ivana. Ivana. Mahataw. Okay. Sabtang. And? Uyugan. Uyugan. All right. Good. Okay. So, can you tell me... Um, how do you call the people, okay, who live in Batanes? In Batanes. In Batanes. Okay, what about their language, their regional language? How do you call it? Okay, you should write. Yeah, you know, when I was a student, I didn't like writing. But I have realized that, you know, it's very essential. You should write because if you don't write, you can easily forget things, right? Okay, so how do you call the language? What about RAF? What, how do you call the regional language again? Ivatan language. Also the same. Okay, Ivatan, Ivatan. All right, Theo, can you give me three tourist spots that you can um, find in Batanes? South Iraya, mm -hmm. Basco Lighthouse. And? And Morong Beach. Morong, Morong Beach. Okay, what about the food? Food or the um, local delicacy? Suman, cook, mahi mahi, and mm. coconut crab. All right, very good job. Okay, nice one. So let's move on. Okay, Rafael, we'll talk about which province? Nueva Vizcaya. Okay, all right. So let's write Tay, okay? You have to write like me. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I present Naviskaya. I made the background myself. It was, wow. Uh, really, okay, it's, it's really nice. Okay. okay. All right. So Nueva Vizcaya. Very good. Okay. Capital right. Bayombong. Okay. Wait okay. a wait a second. We can see the black one. Okay. If you will. If you will try to share a screen, you can just choose which screen to share. You don't need to, yeah, you, you have to share the file, right? But it's okay. All right, so what's the capital? Bayombong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Population 452,287 people. All right, very good. And area? area? 1,535 square miles. Mm -mm. Okay, square miles. Good. Okay, and where is it located? Cagayan Valley, Origin 2. Very good. Okay, it's in Cagayan Valley. All right, good job. Okay. Okay, is everyone done? Mm -mm. Okay, have you ever been here? Can you can you remember? Do you think that um, on your way to Isabela to Kawayan, have you ever passed Bayombong? I don't think so because I, I have uh, I have not really. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. You don't know. You don't have any idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't have. Or actually, you have passed. Okay, if you you you've been to. Um, uh, our place in Isabela and you can pass Bayombong. You know, in Bayombong, your father, okay, he can buy a lot of delicious buku pie. Oh. All right, yeah, okay. So in Nueva Vizcaya, you can buy lots of buku pie. Teo, have you tried buku pie? Yes. Yes, okay. So continue, Raf. Okay. Nueva Vizcaya people. 
Nagoskaya has 18 indigenous, indig I don't know how to pronounce Indigenous. Indigenous. The major indigenous. tribes are tribes of Ifika, tribes, tribes of Gadang, mm -hmm. tribes of Ikai, tribes of Umagat, tribes of Kalanguya. Okay, Isinai. Dumagat. Mm. Kalang, Kalanguya, I think. I'm not really okay. sure. Mm. And Buk, Bukalot. Bukalot. Okay, these are tribes. Yeah, I just have to write those three. Not, yeah, okay. Not, uh, all. Wow, okay. So Nueva Vizcaya is home to 18 indigenous people people right what do you mean by indigenous i saw on google like a particular a place for like natives and yeah mm -mm. indigenous people indigenous okay so when you say indigenous people yeah they are actually a member of some tribes right um yeah Okay. Okay, Krishna is coming. Sure. Mm -mm. All right, good. Okay. Nice one. Have you tried writing? Have you finished? Have you finished writing? Have you finished writing? Raf? <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's something wrong with my... Yeah, because my phone, I was spraying, what do you call this one, alcohol, and I think I was able, I was able to spray something in the audio, so I cannot hear anything. <laughs> and this is very new. Okay, continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so languages. Okay, languages. Mm -hmm. Ilocano, Pangasinan, Tagalog, English, Gadang, and Isinan. Okay, so we have Ilocano, all right. Okay, Pangasinan. So some people in Nueva Vizcaya, they speak Pangasinense. Of course, Tagalog. Mm -hmm. English. Gadang, all right. And Isinai. Okay, so oh wow, they have a lot of languages, right? Yeah. Okay, so these are spoken languages. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, later, please reconnect. We just, we still have ten minutes more. Okay, please reconnect. Okay. Right. The same ID. Okay. What? Okay. I, wait, wait. I need to charge my computer because it's in low battery. All right. Okay. Sure. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on. Let's now move on. Mm -hmm. Geography. Wow. Now okay. It's surrounded by three large mountain ranges. Meaning mm -hmm. that the province is generally mountain as a tree. Mm -hmm. Mountain ranges are called the Yara Mountains, Surya mm -hmm. Madra Mountains, and uh, Karabu. Wait, uh, my mother said how mm. to pronounce the Caraballo, but I now forgot. How do you say Caraballo? Caraballo? Okay, let me find it too. All right, so how do we pronounce it? Okay, let me Google it so we can pronounce it correctly. How do you say Caraballo or Caraballo? Yeah, because it sounds Spanish. Yeah. Caraballo. Okay, it's actually Spanish. I found on how I actually I have yeah Caraballo. It says there. I found in uh, how do you call this one? It says uh, yeah. I think Caraballo. Caraballo. Caraballo is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is everyone done writing? All right. Okay. No, not yet. Okay. So we have the core. I have a question, teacher. What do you mean by mountain ranges? Mountain ranges like a bunch of mountains. 
Okay, yeah, group of mountains, right? We learned that, okay, in our collective nouns. All right, so we have the Sierra Madre, okay, mountains. And we have the Caravaggio Mountains, wow. All right, so definitely it's surrounded. Okay, so it means that if it's surrounded by three mountain ranges, it's a plain, it's actually a valley, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teyo, do you understand? Huh? Do you understand, Teyo? Do you understand? No. Hmm? Okay, what do you mean when you say mountain ranges? Mm, I don't know. Um, surrounded by mountains. Yes. Okay. You have to listen. Okay. All right. Like this one. Okay. Wow. So uh, we can see the map. So uh, yeah. this is actually Nueva Vizcaya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A green part. Okay. The green part is Nueva Vizcaya and it is surrounded by three. By yeah, three mountain ranges. Okay, wow, you don't know this guy is very beautiful. Mm. All right, thank you. Okay, Rafael, continue. Let's continue. Okay. Wow. All right. Mexico has no cities, but has 50 municipalities and 275 barangays. Okay, so let me write it 15 municipalities. Mm -hmm. All right, so. We have 15 and 275 barangays. The capital is, what's the capital again? Bayombong. All right, okay. So we have Alfonso Castaneda. Let me. Mm -hmm. oh, you have to, uh, to copy oh. just the municipalities, not the population area. Yes, or... yeah, we don't need to, right? Aritao, okay. Have you been to Aritao? No. Bagabag. I, Okay, Bagabag, Bambang. I think in Bagabag there is uh, the famous GNB Bukupai. Okay, Bayombong is the capital. All right, Diadi, Dupax del Norte. You know, when I was young, I and my father, we lived in Dupax. It's oh. actually on top of the mountain, yeah. I remember that. We lived there when I was like maybe maybe four years old. And we tried uh, fishing. Yeah, we tried fishing with Papa. Okay, Santa Fe. All right, Santa Fe, Solano. And Villa Verde. Ah, okay. Okay. All right, we're done. Thank you. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, he was not done yet, so just do it. Mm -mm. Okay. So, yeah, well, I've been here. I've been to Aritao. Okay, Aritao. We usually pass Aritao, Bagabag, Bayombong, Jadi. Uh, what else? Okay, Solano. Okay, these are the way that we pass going to um, Isabella. All right, okay, so Ra Rafael will teach us the food and tourist spots, right, Rafael? Yeah, uh, this one is actually animals. All right, animals. Yeah, because, okay. But honest, I, uh, I actually replace it with food. Food is because I couldn't find and I couldn't find any Batanas animals. Oh, so uh, really? I think we have. Okay, I'll try to find. All right, Krishna, welcome, Krishna. Okay, Krishna is here. Okay, Krishna, uh, we are talking about Nueva Vizcaya now. A while ago, we talked about um, Nueva. Okay, Batanas. Krishna, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, do you want to open your camera so we can see you? All right, okay. 
So it's okay. Uh, Rafael, you can send this later to your dad, okay? And your dad will send in our group chat, okay? So oh, okay. Krishna can copy. All right. Okay. So let's continue, Raf. Okay. Okay. Now we start history. All right. Very the good. Mm -mm. The was once a part of the province of Kagayan. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in 1839, mm -hmm. became a province. Mm -hmm. This is a royal decree in 1841. Okay. But when the Americans came, the province was annexed to the newly organized sub-province of Ifugao. Mm -hmm. But later on, the Japanese came to the Philippines and took the archipelago. Mm -hmm. But they were liberated. There was a major battle in Dalton Pass, Santa Fe, Nalushaya. The Allies won the battle, with 285 of their soldiers killed. Mm -hmm. A general called James Dalton was killed in the battle, and the pass which was uh, called Baliti Pass became Dalton Pass in memory of James Dalton. Mm -hmm. After the war, the Philippines became independent and now Vizcaya became a province again. Now Vizcaya came from the Spanish word of this name. Uh, I don't know. That's Vizcay, meaning Vizcaya in Spanish. All right. And, wow. And What's the meaning yeah, of Vizcaya? Hmm? Uh, I don't know what Vizcaya means. And okay. also, uh, Dalton Pass is actually the pass uh, between... Mm. Uh, Nueva Ecija and Nueva Vizcaya. So if you mm. go to the past, you can either go to Nueva, Nueva Ecija or Nueva Vizcaya. Have you been to, ha have you ever been to the Dalton Pass? Mm, have you I been don't there? Really remember, I don't really remember much when I was on Philippines because it was when I was much younger. I, okay. I, yeah. Mm. What about you, Theo and Krishna? Have you ever passed the Dalton Pass? Have I you ever passed know. this? Krishna, what about you, Krishna? When you go to Isabella, do you usually pass the Dalton Pass? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, at the Dalton Pass picture, yeah, at the left of it, it's actually mm. James Dalton. Oh, yeah. wow. It's a good information, right? So, James Dalton, he was the general. Yeah, it's that guy who has the hat. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, unmute. All right, okay. Un unmute, unmute. There's less than... Okay, wait a second, my dear. Wait, I'm so sorry. Wait a sec. Unmute. Okay, Krishna, please unmute yourself. Okay, Krishna, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, good. There's right. less than one minute. So should we reconnect now? Okay, now reconnect. Very good.